Here's what's unusual about this page. It's not a single page application in the traditional sense, even though it feels like one. It's using a React.js component, but it doesn't handle the response from the server. It's also a hotwire-enabled Rails application. I'm using Tailwind CSS just because I started to like it, but there's nothing special about it. You can do everything you can see here with vanilla CSS if you want to. I'm also using a component library called Chakra, and more specifically, I use that on the form fields because why not? And lastly, I'm using Turbo Streams to handle the form data and update the page. The reason this setup is interesting is that it shows you you don't have to go all in single page app. You can sprinkle a few React components here and there to spice up your page and keep the rest of your Rails application unchanged. You can incrementally enhance the user experience if needed. You could start with a bare bones version of an application, which would take very little time to build, and then bring in React components where it makes sense. The goal is always rapid development. It's a lot better to ship something than wait until it's perfect. Let's look at how this page is organized. I've got a fresh Rails 7 application using ES Build and Tailwind CSS, and I've got a site controller with an index action which renders this page here. The page has a form on the left where you see this registration form ID and a table on the right that displays all the users in the database. The render users line renders the user's user partial for each one of the users in that collection. So each one of them is another table row. On the left, the registration form ID is being used inside a component's application.tsx file as the root of the React component. Here is also where I'm setting up the Chakra UI library by wrapping the registration form component with the Chakra provider. Lastly, I'm taking the CSRF token from the meta field and passing it over to the registration form component. Rails needs that token to prevent cross-site request forgery attacks and that's why I'm passing it over. Inside the registration form component, I'm rendering an HTML form using different Chakra UI components. I also have an onSubmit method defined here which submits the form to the slash users path to be picked up by Rails. And I'm sending the token in the request headers and passing the form data to the Rails controller. But here's the interesting part. Instead of receiving JSON from the server and building the HTML on the JavaScript side, we're taking the Turbo Stream response from Rails and we're letting Turbo handle it. So we completely skipped that part. This could be refactored so that all forms behave like that, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you how to use React with Hotwire. The benefit of using React is we get access to the entire React ecosystem of reusable components. As an example, I've added this box here, which zooms into the form when hovered over. But there are all sorts of high quality animations available that you could use. Okay, now let's take a quick look at the back end. There's not that much code here. We're taking the user params from the form and we're initializing a new user object. And if we can save the user to the database, we render the create.turbostream.erb template. Otherwise, we render this other template called create underscore failed.turbostream.erb. So the create.turbostream.erb template has two TurboStream messages. The first one prepends the user we've just created to the new users table by rendering the same user's user partial. And the second message updates the flash message at the top of the page. The create failed template has just one TurboStream message, which updates the flash to display any form errors. Hotwire could be very useful when you need to build something quickly that feels very responsive, just like I did in this video where I'm using Hotwire to build an Instagram clone. So go and watch that video if you want to see how I've done it.